Welcome to a short part three of the Heath Kit 4510 oscilloscope repair. In this video, I'm going to change that defective pilot lamp. I'm actually going to modify the scope. Yeah, I think you'll like it though. Here we go. You notice that the power light's not working, but it's obviously on because you can see the little graticule thing come on there. Well, now that I've got the trigger situation resolved, at least I think I do, um, the next thing I'd like to change is this power light. It's obviously not working, and I really don't want to put an incandescent light back in there, so I'm going to investigate to see what the possibility is of putting in an LED. Right there is the power lamp. You can see here's a 47 ohm resistor that feeds it. It's coming off of the 6 volt AC winding. So yeah, putting in an LED would be pretty easy. I've already popped off the knobs, get these nuts off, and it looks like this board pops right out. Just unplug it, it'd be easy to work on. Well there he is, a little incandescent bulb, 47 ohm resistor, and these two leads go to light the CRT Gratikill. To replace that little bulb, I'm going to put in a 5 millimeter high intensity red LED with a diode and change the current limiter resistor back there. Should work like a million bucks. To perform the task, I went ahead, unplugged the board, and peeled back this insulated material they got. What a mess. Got some corrosion in there. Obviously, you're going to have to clean all that up before we reinstall it. But, I'll go ahead and get the LED on, and we're going to be able to bench check this without having it connected to the scope, because we're just feeding it off of the 6-volt AC line. So, I'll feed in an external power supply, and we'll make sure it works. Alright, there's the new pilot lamp, which is now an LED, soldered right in the same spot that the old incandescent lamp was in and the reason I did that is I'm going to use the ground obviously for the LED then I'm going to lift that stock 47 ohm resistor and I'm going to put a diode and the new resistor in series to power the lamp so it should be a pretty seamless operation well there she is running on the bench I'm using my Heath kit power supply to give it 6 volt AC LEDs plenty bright enough. I used a 100 ohm resistor and a 1N4003 diode. Pretty simple. Should last forever. So next, I'm going to clean this board up, put a new insulative surface underneath of it, and reinstall. Alright, the board is reinstalled with a new insulator, and what did I use for that? The D-Lab business card. Works great. So I hope you like this nifty little modification for your Heath Kit scope. You don't have to fool that incandescent bulb anymore. You don't have to modify the circuit board. Here is the actual circuit. I'll post it and you can see all you do is you add the resistor, the diode, and your LED and put it back in and never think about it again. So how's it look? I'd say plenty bright and with that 100 ohm resistor that LED is not working very hard. So that was kind of short and sweet, not too bad of a modification, and you never have to worry about changing that lamp again. So in part four, you're going to love this one. We are going to calibrate the scope using a Heath Kit calibrator. And here's a sneak preview of the Heath Kit IG4244 oscilloscope calibrator. It does time and amplitude. We'll see you in part four.